Oh God! Oh God! Dallas is ready. I've always wondered what it's like. Birdie and Terence gave me an idea, but I want to experience it for myself. I wish I could ride on the road for once. Ride on the road? Are you daft? <laughs> Why do you make me chuckle? <laughs> Shut up, Frank. Anyway, it's time to get my train ready. Well, Mike, uh, don't do anything stupid. Mike was very busy that day and soon forgot all about his desire for road travel. He worked hard all day, running to and from Arlesdale. Soon, he was on his last run back to Arlesboro. Mike was always anxious to get home as soon as possible, as he didn't like traveling in the dark. He had bad experiences at night, including crashing into Frank while trying to find a farmer's lamb without a headlight. Come on, come on, we gotta get home before dark. Calm down, Mike. We'll get there soon and you can have a good night's sleep. Not too far down the line. Jock was taking an old truck filled with cement. It was starting to leak. Oh no! I must deliver this as soon as possible! And Jock hurried along the line, making the car shudder and shake. There goes Jock. Then, a huge doll of wet cement poured onto the tracks. Jock didn't realize and kept Wait. on going. The wet cement eventually dried. Mike was heading straight towards it. He wasn't paying attention to the line and was looking up at the sky. When he and his driver realized what was in front of them, it was too late. Oh, good lord! What happened? Some idiot left some shit on the tracks. I think it's cement. How the hell it got on the tracks, I have no idea. Great. Well, don't just stand there. Fetch some assistance. Ah. So the driver did. He ran to the nearest telephone box and called for the breakdown train. He came back soon. We've um, got a bit of a problem. There's more concrete on the tracks ahead, so the blisters can't come with the breakdown train until it's removed. It's more 